Have you ever got stuck in something and you wish that there was someone who could actually share their experience with you to tide, o- tide you over your problem? Well, over the course of my work, I received a lot of assistance from the online communities and I thought one of these days I'll be doing my own video to help others through my personal working experience. You will learn even more when you share with others. Hi, this is Sean from Singapore. Good day to all of you out there. I'm a system consultant that is specialized in SCCM 2012. For this series of videos I'll be making, I'm focusing on log reading for troubleshooting purposes. Today, let me touch on the tools that well, we are using for reading SCCM log file, which is CM Trace, by the way. And um, in the future series, I uh, will actually um, do a lot of um, log for a uh, log reading for troubleshooting purposes for different um, scenarios. So um, with this uh, different scenarios we're looking at, and will be accompanied with a workflow, so that uh, well uh, you don't troubleshoot blindly because if you realize on the screen you see that you have over a hundred log files. For a client machine, so um, the more features you turn on in SSCM, the more logs you get. So in order to save time and to you know save yourself from frustration, if you have a workflow for different situation, uh, it will be easier for you to actually nail down the problem. Uh, all these workflows are. Um, coming from TechNet and my personal trial and error experiences. So uh, with all this workflow and um, workflow in place, you can actually know what are the, what, what is the sequence to what we are looking at, uh, what is the log, log file to read and it will actually save you a lot of time and of course frustrations. So now the mm, the client log files are actually located in the C windows slash CCM slash logs. So um, you have, like I mentioned earlier, you know, the more features you turn on in SCCM, the more logs you get. Over usually it will be like over hundred of over hundred of log files. And if you notice, is that um, for some of the logs, when they reach at a certain size. For this example, CCN EXC C, you are looking at it actually gets appended once it's reached a Mac close to one Mac file of size. It actually appended with a date behind, and uh, it creates a new log file. This is how SCCM works. So whenever you are doing troubleshooting, you might want to take a closer look, right? Because uh, some of the previous um, information that has been processed has been logged could be in the second log file instead of the first one. The first one will be usually the latest. Now, earlier I'm talking about using a tool called CM Trace to look at the log files. Now, why is that so? Right? So here's the here's the reason. Because if you are reading using a log a uh, notepad to read the log, um, it's not very uh, human friendly or rather it's not eye easy. Now with um, CM Trace, it's easier for you to read the errors. Then, of course, apart apart from that, for easy reading, actually, um, there are some of the features inside the CM Trace that you might find it useful. So, uh, like one of the feature here that is highlight. So, what it actually does is that you can key in um, a keyword, and it will actually help you to highlight. The keyword in yellow inside the log, which Notepad obviously is unable to do that, and this will actually help you to zoom in the issue you are looking at, and it will save you more time. So right now, for this example, you see the user is present. So let me key user, and you see that it's uh, highlighted in yellow. Right, so it's easier for you to zoom in to the issue issue you are looking at. And another very cool feature we are looking at is uh, error lookup, which is the control L. You can through error lookup you can know what is the error 
we are looking at like a simple one will be number five which is SS denied and you know that um, when it's SS denied you will have um issue like uh, accessing to the shared folder or things like that that will give you SS denied so um, then of course it's not every time that the error code that is um, the error code will be um, very straightforward or very easy for you to understand sometimes for error code it can be very generic like for example this one fatal error during installation it can be anything so um, but you although it doesn't give you a straightforward answer but at least you have an idea that the the task failed during installation and when that happens it could be anything probably the machine prerequisite is not met probably the machine was uh, power down during the, the installation anything it can be anything but it actually helps you to give you a better idea um, at which part of the task the the, the thing failed so with that um, this is a short video for my CM trace uh, introduction in the introduction actually I hope uh, you have learned something and in the next course of video I'll be doing a uh, lot from reading right and I do blog and if you can't wait for the videos to to be uploaded I can be you can see my logs over here which is over here do visit my logs and uh, I actually I have already blocked way before um, before making this video I thought of making this video to complement my log um, till then see you guys next time